Since the 1990s, the Queensland Government has procured ICT products and services through the GITC framework, a one-size-fits-all model. In 2015, there were 1,508 accredited GITC suppliers, and it's estimated that the Queensland Government signed 1,400 GITC contracts, valued at around $800 million. Many of the suppliers and ICT products and services available today didn't exist when the framework was created. Marginal updates to the GITC framework have not allowed it to keep up with the fast pace of innovation and technology development. To enter into a GITC contract, the Queensland Government currently requires ICT suppliers to accept the terms and conditions of their head agreement and to have their commercial viability assessed. This assessment service is currently provided by QAssure. A review of the GITC contracting framework occurred in 2015. Through a series of consultations and co-design workshops with suppliers, legal firms and government representatives, the review concluded a more contemporary approach to ICT contracting was needed. In regards to accreditation, suppliers told us when forming contracts, they're often asked to repeatedly provide the same information they've already provided at the time of QAssure assessment. This is time-consuming and costly for suppliers. Agencies have told us they believe they need to conduct their own due diligence when forming contracts as they're unsure whether supplier information is up to date and can't easily see all the required supplier information. The proposed future accreditation model aims to incorporate independent tiers. Tier 1 caters for the smaller players, startups, sole traders or suppliers that are entering into low-risk capped value contracts. Tier 2 accreditation will be for suppliers that will enter into low-risk, low-value contracts. Whilst Tier 3 will be for organisations that enter into medium to high-risk, high-value contracts. Supplier general and commercial details, facilitated through the proposed model, are assessed to determine the appropriate accreditation tier. Being accredited at a tier identifies the contract type that each supplier has agreed to with the government. Suppliers can easily keep their data up to date and highlight their key capabilities. Agencies will then be able to easily access the supplier's general and required commercial information and review capabilities as part of their own procurement process. The new accreditation model will incorporate one digital entry, a single point of truth, tiers that allow entry for all, and supplier search capabilities. Our next step will be broad consultation workshops. Having your say has never been more crucial to the way the government procures ICT products and services.